It's all about the issues. The topics we hide underneath our tongues. I'm a graduate with a BSc. I'm on the streets. The Nihoho podcast is where we have conversations with vulnerability at the center. What do we think about money? Is it our money? Is it my money? Is it your money? The gloves come off and hands are made bare. Because I've lived in a lot of places, dealt with a lot of people. Let's get naked. I'm Olori Boye Ajayi, and this is Nihoho, the podcast. We all have secrets, but the question is, how deep are these secrets, and who are we keeping them from? Why are we keeping them? The questions are endless as to why, as individuals, we have secrets. On today's show, we're going to be unpacking why everyone seems to be hiding something. But today, I'm not alone. I have in the studio with me today, Mrs. Olavisi Olashoetan. Hi, Lori. How Mrs. are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so happy you're here today because Thank you. aside the fact that I know you and what you do, and I just think it's super amazing, but could you just tell those who don't know you exactly what you offer? Okay. My name is Olavisi Olashoetan. I'm a marriage counselor and coach. I'm the founder of Secret Bliss Wives. It's a platform where I teach people how to do their marriage God's way. Fantastic. I love it. And I think what's really important is that, you know, sometimes we as individuals say to ourselves that, you know, I have nothing to hide. You know what? You've heard that before. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to hide. But is that really true? Most likely. The person saying that (laughs) definitely has something to hide. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. I really want us to begin to look at secrets. Mm. And secrets, you know, nobody likes to talk about it because the things we're hiding, we don't want the people or persons to know. But in the context of relationship, from friendship to marriage Mm -hmm. to mother, father, daughter, Mm -hmm. you know, mother. I mean, why do we feel the need to hide things from people? Yeah, I think judgment, Mm. the fear of judgment. And from sort of like an existential perspective, like the fear of rejection. Absolutely. People judge, they're very critical. And so once you say that thing, Mm. it becomes the lens that you are now perceived through. So for safety, you want to just remain in that hidden place where nobody knows. So I come as I am and then you take me as I present myself, but not really mm-hmm. as I am. Right. You know, I think fear of rejection and, you know, the judgment. The part. judgment. And it's so interesting because I'll tell you an example of this judgment thing mm. we're talking about. So I was just getting to know my husband at the time so i've been happily married for 10 years yeah, i know it's a big deal for me i don't care what anybody says um, <laughs> thank you but i feel like my husband at the time i feel he didn't know what he was getting into mm. right because you're just like are you sure you like me <laughs> are you sure you want to end up with me like me me right and i remember one night he came to visit me um at my house and the Holy Spirit said to me, you're going to have to tell him about your past. Mm. And I thought, no way, please don't do this. Mm. This guy is so good for me. Yeah. Don't let me wreck this. Don't let me mess mm. this up. Mm. And I was already panicking at the fact mm. that I'm about to scatter something that is so good. good. Mm. And he said to me, I've prepared his heart. Mm. Right? Mm. And then he comes in and I am shaking. I'm thinking, yeah. because you know what? We overrate our secrets. Absolutely. We exactly. think we're the only ones that has, exactly. you know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it's not true because one of the things that you must learn is that the enemy will use that mm-hmm. fear. Mm-hmm. He will amplify that fear. Yeah, and trap you. And trap you. So you're in this bondage, not mm-hmm. secrets. You're not holding back secrets. Yeah. You are actually in bondage. Absolutely. You know, and he said to me, you need to free yourself mm. before you go into this marriage. And mm. I thought, free myself from what? He said, from that which the accuser can mm. accuse you of having done yeah that's good remember he's the one keeping record of your wrongs exactly not god exactly he would bring it up you know what i mean (laughs) and he will taunt you with it Mm -hmm. in this new era that you're going into it may not even be marriage right it could be a job yeah it could be so many things so talk to us in relationships for instance doesn't matter which one Mm. how can people begin to feel 
comfortable about sharing secrets? You know, what I always say, or maybe what I've recently started to encourage people to do is to be authentic. That's Make right. it your life's desire mm-hmm. to be. But don't define that authenticity as just, oh, this is the way I am. Let it be about becoming your best self. That's right. So most times you see that the things we are hiding, we have actually moved on from them. We are probably even doing better. Mm-hmm. So you have to allow yourself to love the person that who made that, that yeah, mistake, yeah, yeah. who committed whatever it is, and then be authentic by pushing your best self forward. Mm. So for the sake of the person you have become, free yourself. Free yourself. And allow yourself to just excel. I love right? it. So tell them. And so many people want to be authentic. Many people are afraid, you know, just like the story you said, God said, mm-hmm. I've prepared his heart. Now, sometimes God may not even prepare the heart of the people you won't talk to. They may not be ready. But you see, there's a process and mm. you've got to be willing to give them time. Mm. And you'll be surprised that you may have underestimated their capacity to, to actually take it, take it on. I agree you with know. you on that because so, that's what happened with me. You know, by the time he actually started to hear me out, mm. you know what he did after I told him everything? He prayed for me. I was like, I'm that's so marrying you. God. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, this is so loving mm-hmm, of you mm-hmm. to overlook my wrongs. Yeah. That's what love does. Yeah. It absolutely. doesn't keep record of wrongs. Yeah. And covers. those were, it covers. Thank you. But now let's dig, let's sort of dig deeper into marriage. And I want to talk about the different secrets that, you know, couples keep. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go straight into it. Let's start with the obvious ones. Mm. Keeping secrets about finances. Finances. What you earn truly, truly. Truly. Um, yeah. Versus what you talk about yeah. to your spouse. How do you think How people should... you spend Whoa. truly, truly. Okay. I'm not even going to talk about that because I see guilty written all over my forehead. <laughs> But I know, right? How do we handle sort of not keeping secrets in the financials? Well, sometimes some things are not exactly secrets. Okay. Like it's just, you know, what you can call omission, right? And so what you want to do, you know, sort of to mitigate against that thing hidden mm-hmm. is to have a conversation, right? What do we think about money? Is it our money? Mm-hmm. Is it my money? Is it your money? Once you are able to figure what is the value that this family is running on, then some things may not even be secret. I mean, if I buy a bag now, Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily have to tell my husband. Right. Whether I spend from his money or my money or a child's money, Mm -hmm. you know, it's fine. If it comes up, I'm willing to talk about it. Now, where there's a problem is when you know that if it comes up, there's that fear already that you don't want them to know. That's a secret there. But have a conversation beforehand. What is acceptable? What is not regarding finances? Sounds good. I love it. So let's talk about hidden relationships. Mm. We're going to go deep. As I'm going, I'm going deeper. (laughs) So let's talk about hidden relationships where some people are living a completely different Mm. life to what Mm -hmm. they project. Now, Mm -hmm. let me give you a good example. I'm talking about somebody who is in a place of authority, has his wife and kids, but then has... You know, you know what? Let me take that back. It could even be a woman. Absolutely. You know yeah. what I mean? That I just got to check about that. Like, yeah. what makes you think it could just be yeah. a guy? Even a woman in authority mm-hmm. who has kids and a husband, and they have another life mm. with another person. Yeah. I mean, full blown life. Very familiar with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Talk to us about how can they come out of that secret life. You know, many people don't want to be in that place. Mm. You know, and just as we said in the beginning. You have to trust yourself. You must want it more than anything else to be free. So it's not so much about them, you know, about, you know, I want them to know alone. If you want them to know, some people don't want them to know. They're fine living that secret life. But if you feel like you're in captivity, you got to free yourself. Come out and tell them. At the end of the day, what's the worst that can happen? Right? right? They'll leave you. They can't handle it. They can't cope. You'll be sorry, though, but sober mm-hmm. and free. And free. Keep I'd rather being that. free. Yeah. You know? And so you have to choose. Do you want to remain guilty? Do you mm-hmm. want to remain hidden? Or do you want to be in the light? I mean, the Bible says that, you know, whatever is hidden would eventually come into the light. That's so right. do you want to bring yourself out or you want to wait? Mm-hmm. You know, I think you just have to choose yourself mm-hmm. and be willing to embrace the person who did the mistake and not willing to do better so own it yeah 
own it that you've made a mistake. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have gone that route. Yeah. But there is absolute, almost like a new life, mm -hmm. a new chapter waiting for you if you can exactly. say, I'm done. Exactly. And just own that. Yeah. And you must want I to love be done. It. I love it. Let's talk about the kept secrets of a lack of having sex. Mm. You mm. know, and I think this is important because not every couple is having sex. Yeah. And yeah. That, that's just so frustrating <laughs> for some of them. Yeah. And when I got into my marriage, you know, as you guys know, on Niho Ho, I'm willing to let it mm. rip. <laughs> you know, I did have a season where we weren't having any form of intimacy, mm. at least in the form of sex. And I can't really think of why. Mm -hmm. I think it was just a spell, a dry spell. <laughs> a season, a season. Yeah. thank you, thank you. And of course, we've moved on from that, but... How do you think not talking about that secret could affect the relationship eventually? Well, if they're not having sex, it's probably not a secret. They know maybe that's just a lack of communication. So let's say I'm the wife, mm. right? For some reason, I don't like having sex. Okay. Now, of course, my husband knows, but it's still a secret to those who think we we're having we're sex. Having so we're having sex. Sort of like projecting a front. Thank right? you. That's it's what I'm talking danger, about. It's a danger. A danger to the marriage institution. Thank you. Right. Right. Because people come with this false sense, false understanding mm. of married sex is just so hot. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. And then nobody has really told them how it is. So right. they get into it. They are disappointed based on their expectations. And they don't even give their partner a chance. Right? So if you're willing to come out to tell people as it is, some t there will be dry seasons, like you said. You know, it's not an anomaly. Thank right? You. And we must be willing I feel better. to... <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not, you know, and it can range from different reasons, finances, the coldness, you know, mm -hmm. and you may even be intimate and there's connection and there's no sex. There's no sex, actually. You know, so we must be able to talk about it freely, right? Not just for us, but for people coming behind mm. and looking to get into the marriage institution. I mean, no pretense. Right, please. right. No pretense. I love it. <laughs> so if you are struggling and if there is some form of secrecy, maybe like your parents are thinking, hey, mm. my son and daughter, <laughs> Go ahead. Good. Good. <laughs> and then you guys are like, actually, no action. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think it's best for you and your spouse to figure out, mm, talk about it. Like yeah. you said, communication is really key. Why aren't we having sex? Yeah. But it shouldn't be something you sort of put under the rug, rug. and say, we're not going to mm -hmm, talk about it. Mm -hmm. And let's keep fronting as mm, though we are. Mm, if you're not, nah. talk about it. Because the enemy can use that lack of yeah, sex absolutely. as a form of yeah, whatever. Definitely, yeah. You know. So let's talk about Veronica. Hmm. Veronica is very popular on the show. She's had some issues, you know, in our past episodes. Veronica is a young woman who mm. is married. She has two kids, but she has feelings for the same sex. Mm. So she's gay, basically. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Veronica. How <laughs> you doing? You know, and the interesting thing about Veronica now is that when she was single... She was dating married men. Mm. Not as... This is going to sound very contradicting, but mm. I think she was doing it because it was a habit as opposed to what she really wanted to do. Mm. I see. You know was what I mean? by? They were helping her get by. I see. So there was that outlet. There mm -hmm. was a reason why that sure. connection was constantly being made with okay. married men. Now, she keeps saying that she's the cause of mm. this attraction she feels like i'm always attracting married, married men mm. it's now a mindset mm. there's that number one so now remember that was when she was single mm. now she's married and now she finds herself in a place where she's like why am i attracted to women mm. and it's become a secret of course from her friends and her husband what do you think is going on here with this secret life Hmm. Well, with Veronica, she's attaching so much to attracting married men. She may consider that she's unable to attract single men. And so because she's looking to attract somebody mm. now, there is the women folk. True. And it's more like a law of attraction. Mm -hmm. What she really wants is singleness. Somebody who is her own. Yes. Right? Not someone yes. else's right. partner. Mm -hmm. And so she would probably, you know, take whatever comes. A woman or a man. Hmm. Right, and so she may have found That's herself true. in that woman attraction mm. because she needed her own. Right, it's it's possible, you know. Although there's a lot to explore in mm -hmm. that story, though. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe for the sake of this mm. 
you know and I guess having been there myself in terms of you know have I ever been with a married man mm. maybe out of youthful what's the word exuberance wanting to try yeah Yeah. just doing all of those things you kind of like what's there let's see what's Mm -hmm. there Mm -hmm. you know but what you find is that when you open that portal of feelings that portal of lifestyle Mm -hmm. that portal of habit it's Mm -hmm. going to cause ripple effects in your life in your life absolutely so it's no wonder to me why she's feeling this sort of attraction to women Mm. because you know the enemy is just so what yeah, he is you know exactly. he will just use one thing and create a house <laughs> in oh, your no, life because once you go low you just you go down, down. I and mean, that's there's true. no way up from there so it's better to just you know stay with your values and stay with god you know funny when i was growing up as well i felt like i was just attracting married men I don't everybody know what is it with that feeling yeah, you know i think that sometimes when you find women who have courage presence mm. right you know, there's that attraction. So she may actually be attracting married men by being herself, right? Just by being, you know, that powerful, confident Very lady, true. right? But does that mean that that's what you need to go for? No. I mean, no. I had to come to terms with like, what was happening? I'm no. more than this. In fact, yeah. a woman said to me once, without just even talking, she just looked at me, she said, hmm, you look like someone who can snatch somebody's husband. I've had that said to me as well. <laughs> <You know? gasps> can you and imagine? I, I think that, that was, to me I, as well. I was I was very upset. I think that was the day I finally, you know, took notice and said, you know, I don't really like this, right? right. But before then, it was fun, right? Mm, it was just having, you know, just, I would yeah. take leaves, I would, yeah. you know, have fun, eat. But that day, it felt like an insult. And I'm like, no, I don't want to snatch somebody's own bad. I'm not even interested. Yeah. You know, and I had to think about my personal values and where I see myself That's in the right. future. The values come in at you some know. point. As we wrap up, you know, we just have a few more minutes. I want to talk about a very sensitive topic, Mm -hmm. which is keeping secrets about abortions Mm -hmm. for the single folk out there Mm -hmm. who are saying, although I'm not proud of what I did, it doesn't even represent me, Mm -hmm. but I'm finding that this secret is crushing my spirit. Mm -hmm. What are you going to say to that kind of woman? Oh, well, wherever you are, people have defied Mm -hmm. the norm. People have come out and, you know, allowed themselves to soar. So what I'll say is you've got to see the future, who you are, and be willing to lean into that, Mm -hmm. right? Especially because it no longer defines you, actually, right? So there's nothing holding you back but yourself, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, people will be okay. Mm -hmm. If they look at you and say, oh, she's done that, Mm -hmm. they'll be okay. If you're married, lead with that. There's no point hiding it. People have gone from five abortions to having children right outside. Immediately they get married. So you know what? Do not let the enemy put you in that guilty place because it's exactly why you would not manifest the wrong things the things mm. that god doesn't want for you because mm. you believe it and in the kingdom you actually once you have it you receive it mm. it's not the other way around mm. and so once you already see yourself as in that place lost not free is holding you back there's something about me that people don't know you know i wish this to happen you begin to manifest the negative things about the so thing. so you have to be free by faith believe just believe it yes. you are not your history your your best self is in the future mm, you mm, know so mm. be willing to come out be willing to speak up and you see how you would attract so much joy i mean it's just a natural law so much joy peace into your heart just by being able to share your journey with another person and seeing that because of that story they were able to like you know do something better with themselves it frees you even the more and god gets all the glory you know so let it go i love it let it go it's really not even the end of the world or your world (laughs) it's not the end of your life it doesn't define you as i said you know and i think as you know olabisi said these things you can use it to god's glory like Mm -hmm. and that's what god wants you to even have in the back of your mind that look everything will work out for your good good. and you must trust that process Mm -hmm. of okay this has happened in my life but i'm willing not to allow it be a secret Mm -hmm. secrets can be like i said bondages that Mm -hmm. the enemy will use to hold you down Mm -hmm. into that feeling Mm -hmm. you have to come out and say you know what 
God says he doesn't remember yeah. my sins. Yeah. He says, as you know, the East is from the West. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. like, listen, I don't remember anything. <laughs> so when you show up Amazing. as this new you, guess what? He's like, yeah, this is the one I know. Mm -hmm. Anybody, I repeat, anybody that allows you go back into your past. Mm. I have people who say to me, is this Olori from yeah. Grace Schools? That's not. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> this, is this is not she. <laughs> she no longer exists, oh, right? Wow. And it can make people uncomfortable mm. because they want to pin you down yeah. by what they know. Yeah, exactly. And I'm saying to people like, look, the Olori that even existed in this year, as mm. at April, you mm -hmm. do not know me. Exactly. I'm telling you. So right. I think put your chin up, chin up, chin up, chin up. Yeah. And. Get yourself out of that bondage. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Olabisi. I'm going Thank to ask you. you to just say, you know, some things that maybe you haven't touched on and you'd really like to about secrets as we close. And then we'll call it a day. You know, mostly what I would just say is trust yourself, right? And trust your journey. You must also be willing to trust um, the people who you want to reveal it to. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, desire freedom more than anything. It will move you into action, right? Because you can't stay in bondage. It's, it's impossible. If, if I'm in a space that is not enough for me, I want to get out, mm. right? So nothing is enough to keep me down, mm -hmm. right? So you desire freedom. It holds a lot for you in your life. A lot of joy, immense peace, mm. right? You know, just desire that. And you see that at the end of the day, people will be all right, mm -hmm. right? They mm -hmm. will be fine. Will be all right. And if God is with you, you That's also right. have to be able to trust that. He has the heart of kings, mm -hmm. of people, paupers, everybody. Mm -hmm. And he's able to work with you on that journey, you know, of coming out and finding acceptance mm -hmm. with the right people. Right, right. Thank you so much. I mean, for me, I just want to say, guys, you know, two things that Olabisi touched on. One is if you do have a secret, please be sure you tell the right person. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. go around spreading your gist and then people are like, ah, ah. You know, that's not what we're saying, you know, get the right person. And um, for me, a lot of times when people say to me, Olori, I'm just scared. Yeah. I'm like, that's not of God, mm. you know, because perfect yeah. love cast out that yeah. fear. And you have to trust that that perfect love has to work in you mm -hmm. so that you can have a sound mind. Yeah. Right. So I think secrets or not don't worry about it just mm -hmm. make sure your mind is saying to yourself okay i need to get help mm -hmm. and just as a way of this just came to me now that there might be someone listening who has had a secret life mm -hmm. now this secret life may be with another man if you're a woman mm -hmm. someone who's not in your uh, who's not your spouse or it could even be somebody who's keeping a secret about how much they're earning mm -hmm. So your parents have said, oh, my daughter, you know, ah, she's doing so well. My son is doing so well. You're but not really, you're well. not doing well. That is a secret. Mm -hmm. And you have to come to terms. Either you have that conversation, but communication is really important. Okay. And for those who are living a life who your friends think you are so rich mm. because you look so it all the time. You're living a lie. You're living a lie. And it's bondage. Mm -hmm. That's really where we're headed here. Yeah. So there's no need to keep up with the Joneses on mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. you know, wearing clothes <laughs> that are not broke. yours. The Joneses too are broke, <laughs> you know, but yeah, just set yourself free. Like, yeah. you know, Olabisi said, I'm so grateful you joined Thank me today, Olabisi. I mean it. Like, I always look forward to when I have guests, but in my mind, I'm like, God, please let this person talk sense. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. But, you know, today you really brought it home for me. And thank you for not holding back. Thank that was really you. critical because on Nihoho, it's all about vulnerability yeah. and speaking the truth as God would have us. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And guess what? I'm going to see you very soon. It's all about the issues. I work, I work. The topics we hide underneath our tongues. I'm a graduate with a BSc. I'm on the streets. The Nihoho podcast is where we have conversations with vulnerability at the center. What do we think about money? Is it our money? Is it my money? Is it your money? The gloves come off and hands are made bare. Because I've lived in a lot of places, dealt with a lot of people. Let's get naked. I'm Olori Boye Ajayi, and this is Nihoho, the podcast. <laughs>